suppose if we talk about the counters counter is another application of the register where we generally utilize to count the pulses how many clock pulses we have okay and also one of the important uh, application of this counter could be like uh, to produce some delay for a particular duration sequence uh, like uh, uh, sequence for the control logic circuit something like that so uh, for this purpose we need a different kind of arrangement and that arrangement we call it the counter uh, let me tell you the real example of the counter where counter is required you may have uh, seen at the traffic uh, or or uh, you have you, you may have seen three different colors red green and uh, yellow color right and you may have observed each color has different time sets okay they ha they have given some different time interval for each color and so that the traffic can pass or they can stop okay so how much time uh, i need to get a red uh, signal and what should be the time duration for the uh, green signal or what should be the time duration for yellow signal that is decided by the counter suppose if i have selected the counter for 20 seconds for the red 5 seconds for the uh, uh, yellow and 20 seconds for green so for this application counter is required once counter is completed then it will change its state let me repeat it again what i am saying suppose let us assume i want to make a traffic controller so what kind of algorithm you have to use you have to design some counter okay so let us first uh, uh, what i have to do i have to make a red signal in one way and uh, and uh, uh, like in in three way i need to make a red signal and in one direction i need to make a green signal and and once this counter finishes like 20 seconds then i need to make make some uh, yellow light for some period of time that we call it a cool up period or whatever we can say and then we need a green signal so for this particular applications you need some kind of circuit that can count this one okay and this is nothing but the counter is okay so basically the main use of counter is to 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 calculate the or uh, or to count the number of clock pulses now the question is how we decide the red signal should be turn on for 20 minute 20 seconds okay so this is basically decide with the yeah let me move ahead then i will tell you later on this is really somewhat interesting so i will tell you later on uh, how we can decide these things okay so yeah uh, if i am talking about the counters so counter is nothing but basically see the sequential logic circuits are desired, uh, uh, are divided into two category the first category is the uh, synchronous one and the second category is the asynchronous one if we talk about the asynchronous one what it means whatever the flip flop we have all the flip flop will not be controlled with the single clock pulse okay so if all the flip flops are not controlled with the single clock pulse we can call them the asynchronous kind of circuits okay and if all the modules are controlled with the global clock or single clock then we can call them the uh, synchronous kind of circuits okay and the counter can be made with the help, like it can be asynchronous or it, it could be the synchronous so the basic idea i just told you what counter is counter basically counts how many clock pulses i have received okay and accordingly we can uh, we can say what is the value of this counter or what is the modulus of this counter and what is the what and, and, and details about this counter okay so few things that you should know the counter is nothing but this is a clock sequence circuit that goes through a predetermined sequence of states upon an application of input pulse what does it mean it means that suppose i want to make a counter of 7 uh, 7 up to 0 to 7 so what it will, it will do it will start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and once this sequence finishes its, uh, its last value it will come to its original position again the counter that will start from 0 to 7 and then again it will it will come to 0 and this this kind of period will keep on moving yeah you can modify it like if you want to terminate at some points then you can also terminate how to terminate i will tell you suppose wh what is the meaning of this termination meaning of this termination is suppose i have started the counter and it should move up to 7 and then it should not come back to 0 again so what i have to do i have to terminate the sequence after 7 okay so this is also possible how it could be done i will tell you later on okay so these are some few points like uh, basically uh, for counter 
we use jk or the t flip flop these two are the important thing because jk and the t flip flop has a toggle kind of property okay toggling property is there uh, that is why because i have to uh, count the clock pulses and the clock pulses have the toggling in two states and if i have to measure the changes in the clock pulse so in that case toggling kind of flip flop is utilized in this purpose okay so the jk and the t flip flop is used for the counter designing okay uh, we cannot use rs flip flop in a d flip flop because rs and d flip flop does not have the, the toggle kind of where we can uh, observe the change in state okay uh, for counter designing we have to use those counters where we have a provision to observe the state change okay so that is why jk and the t flip flop is utilized okay some other points that uh, uh, that the, basically this counter follow the binary sequence like suppose if i have a three flip flops so with the help of three flip flops i can make the counter up to 2 to the power n okay so uh, like this much of the number of sequences will be 2 to the power n and if it is start from 0 so the sequence will be 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1 so the total sequence that will start from 0 and that will be up to 2 to the power n minus 1 suppose i have a three flip flop so the sequence will be 0 to 7 okay and if i have a four flip flop the maximum sequence that can have 0 to 15 so suppose i want to make a counter up to 12 okay 12 counter so uh, if you see the three number of flip flop will not be sufficient because suppose i want to make a counter that can count from 0 to 12 when only and after that it should not count it should come back to again zero okay so if this is the requirement then what i have to do for this this purpose uh, i need to check how much minimum flip flop is needed let us assume i am using three flip flop so out of three flip flop i can count from 0 to 7 only i cannot go beyond this one i cannot go uh, like i can count up to 7 okay and now if i am using the four flip flops so in that case i can go up to 0 to 15 and 0 to 15 indicates that it can count up to 15 and if we are limiting this counter then i can make 0 to 12 counter so the minimum number of flip flop that required that depends on what is the limit of count that we are going to consider okay and based on that we can decide okay so uh so this is important thing that you should consider okay uh, next other thing that we have like yeah i just told you this what are the sequence uh yeah i think there is some mistake it is to the power n and this is to the power n minus 1 okay. so this should be like this uh yeah so these all are the some some regulation these are the some points i will tell you what the what exactly meaning of all these things yeah one thing that you should know like modulus what is the modulus modulus is important terminology in the counter modulus basically decides what is how many states i have like how many uh, states i am moving suppose i am just making a mod 3 counter okay mod 3 counter means what it let us start it is starting from 0 so 0 that it will go to the 1 then it will go to the 2 so three different states is already finished so again it will come back to zero so if the counter is behaving like this means the, if the operation is something like this 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 0 and so on so we can call it the modulus 3 counter okay one more important thing that need to be uh, considered here uh yeah i i will i will discuss this in later on okay so don't worry okay so these are some points that need to be consider especially on the counter designing side uh if i am talking about the counters basically counter can be uh, you can say like 2 to the power n counter or mod 2 to the power n counter okay what does it means it means that suppose if i have a modulus 7 counter okay if i want to make the modulus 7 counter what it means the total number of sequences are 7 and if i am assuming the counter starts from 0 so the total number of sequences will be 0 to 7 okay and again from 0 7 to 0 it will come back so it will start from 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 and so on 4 5 then 6 
then it will go to seven and then it will come back to zero again so this kind of counter we can call it this is the uh sorry not seven just after six zero to six because the the total number of states are seven so zero one two three four five six and seven so this is what the modulus seven counter is similarly suppose i want to make modulus uh four counter okay so what it means it will start from zero two three uh, zero one two three one two and then it will come to three then it will come to zero so this is the sequence that modulus four counter will follow okay now what i have to uh calculate like how many number of flip flop is needed to design this counter to decide this counter what uh, this thing what i have to consider i have to check which condition it is following like let us assume i'm just saying mod m counter okay where this m is nothing but this is equal to 2 to the power n okay so uh i have to simply calculate uh this n indicates the number of flip flop needed suppose if i have modulus four counter if i have modulus four counter what it means i can write it modulus 2 to the power 2 okay and what it means the two number of flip flop is needed to design mod four counter now but the question is suppose there there are some uh, counter having mod seven something like this okay mod 7 means total number of flip uh, like uh, the total number of states are 7 and if you see which of the condition is satisfying okay so 2 to the power 2 this is not satisfying because this number uh, is not is equal to or uh, greater than of this number okay so to cal the relation the number of flip flop is basically related with this one m should be less than or is equal to 2 to the power n where n is the number of flip flop okay n is the number of flip flop that decides how many flip flops are needed here so let me che check it out okay uh, if i am talking about mod 4 counter mod 4 counter then i need to check the n if n is equal to 2, so 2 to the power 2, that is satisfying this condition. So the two number of flip flop is needed. If let us assume mod 5 counter, I want to make the mod 5 counter. Okay. So I need to check which of the condition that is satisfying. So if n is equal to 2, so the maximum value that I am getting is 4. This is not satisfying the case. Okay. So I need to increase the value of n. So if n is equal to 3, in that case, this value is nothing but this is 2 to the power 3 that will give you the 8. And this condition is completely satisfying this one. So this we will decide three number of flip flop is needed to design this modulus five counter. So how many flip flops are needed to design any counter? That depends how much number of sequences I want to generate out of this counter. Okay. So these are some important things. Yeah, just think about this one. I'm just giving one minute. Uh, if you have any doubt on this point, you can ask the questions so that we can move ahead because this is important thing that you should know. Okay. So if anyone has any doubt on this, how we calculate the modulus and number of flip-flop, you can ask the questions. Otherwise, uh, we can move ahead. Okay. So this is all about the modulus and how we can calculate. Second kind of uh, thing is, like, yes, I just told you the modulus to the power n means uh, suppose i have two flip flop so total uh, the mod that i can make is like mod 4 counter if i have three flip flop then uh, that uh, this mod m means like this is nothing but mod 4 mod 8 mod 8 uh, mod 16 so these all are coming uh, uh, comes under the first category which is an like exact module number of modules based on the flip flop but I just told you I can have like mod 7 is also one of the possibility. So this comes under this one where the modulus is less than the actual value. Okay. If it is less than 2 to the power n, then we can have a counter uh, again. And this comes under mod modulus less than 2 to the power n counter. Okay. So this, this kind of counter comes under this category, modulus 
less than to the power n. Third kind of category of the counter that could be the up counter. What does it mean? It means that the counter always starts from the lower value and that it will keep on increasing to the higher one. Okay. What, what, what does it mean? It means that uh, suppose if I'm talking about a mod four counter, so total number of sequences are four. Okay. So it will start from zero. It will go to the one. It will go to the sequence number two. It will go to the sequence number three and then it will come back to the zero. Okay. So if you see here, the counter is increasing all the time before resetting. Okay. So we can call this kind of counter up counter. Next category could be down counter. Down counter what, means what? It will start from the maximum value. Okay. Like if I have a mod four, so it could be, it, it, it should start from three that will go to the two. Then it will go to the one. Then it will go to the zero then from zero to three and so on. So we can call them the down counter. Okay. So these are the up counter and these are the down counter. Okay. So this is the up and down counter. Uh, there could be possibility in the modulus to the power n as well as modulus less than to the power n. Okay. So suppose I have modulus seven counter or modulus five counter. So in modulus five counter, if I'm considering the uh, up counter, so it will start from, let me write mod five counter, five up counter. Okay. So if this is the thing. Then how, what will be the sequence? The sequence that will start from zero, one, two, three, and it will go to the four. Yeah. So two, then three, then four, and then zero. So the total number of sequences, the, uh, 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 the, those are the five. And because the counting is upward, so we can call this sequence as a mod five up counter. Similarly, you can design for the uh, mod five down counter that will start from four and that will reach up to the zero and then it will repeat it again. There can be some counter that can be the hybrid kind of hybrid kind of means uh, it could be the up counter. It could be, uh, it could be the down counter or, or the combination of up and down. Okay. Uh, so this is also possible. How we decide this is the up counter. Like suppose if I want to make a counter, like it should uh, move from zero to three first, zero, one, two, three. And then once three is reached, okay. Uh, it should, uh, so let me write the sequence zero, one, two, and three. And once three is reached, it should uh, come to sequence one and then it should come to zero and so on. Okay. So let me change the color so that you will be able to understand what I am doing here and how we are deciding it is a hybrid one. Okay. So, uh, uh, one thing can be done at three, two, let us assume I am making it seven and then seven to let us assume six and six to five and then five to reset. Okay. Let us see this counter, whatever I have made here. Let us start, uh, let us, let us consider initially the counter was started from zero. Okay. So the counter counts from zero, then it will go to the one, then it will go to two and then three. And once three is reached, the counter should preset to seven state. Okay. It should preset to seven state. And once it is preset, it should behave as, as a down counter. Okay. So now it will start decreasing seven to six, six to five. And once it's state five reached, it should reset to zero. So this is also one of the possibility. Okay. So these kind of counter are known as the hybrid counter. So we'll check it out how we decide, how we can design all these counters and what is the importance of this counter. So this is all about the counter, which I am just. I just wanted to discuss. Now, one thing left, which I, I, I told you in the beginning of this lecture, suppose I want to make a counter uh, for the traffic light control. Okay. And I want to make like the, the, the red one, the red light that should uh, be turned on for, let us assume 30 seconds. 
okay and uh, the just after red then it will come to the yellow yellow light that should uh, be turned on for 5 seconds and let us assume the uh, uh, the next one is the green one okay and green one should turn on let us assume for 60 seconds okay and and then again it will come to the yellow uh, for 5 seconds and then this should repeat to the red and so on so let us assume uh, for one direction this is the sequence red for 30 second yellow for 5 second green for 60 second yellow for 5 second and then it should again move to the uh, red one okay now how i decide that counter should reach up to the 30 second how we decide this the real time counters okay so to design this real time counter uh, the frequency of the clock pulse is very important okay so if the frequency let us assume the frequency of the clock pulse whatever i am using okay whatever the clock pulse i have let us assume this is the clock pulse and the frequency of this clock pulse is let us assume it is the uh, 1 kilohertz okay let us assume it is the 1 kilohertz yeah simply let us assume simplify to simplify yeah, yeah no problem 1 kilohertz okay if it is 1 kilohertz what it means the time period is nothing but this is the 1 divided by 1 kilohertz okay uh, simply that that will come to the like uh, 1 millisecond okay so time period is nothing but this is 1 millisecond now if you want to make the red signal of 30 second so how much milliseconds you need or how many clock pulse you need like 0 1 0 1 how many uh, number of clocks you need to make it for 30 seconds and and based on that you can decide let us assume for simplicity i'm saying you need 100 uh, two clock pulse let us assume for example i'm just giving okay you need 102 clock pulse uh, uh, to generate a delay of 30 seconds based on the timing of this clock pulse so what it means you need to design a 102 counter or modulus 102 counter okay so this is the important thing so here we can use the counter that will uh, if you can clearly see on the screen there are some displays that also represent uh, the color as well as the values. Like it starts from the 60, something like this, you may have seen. Uh, it starts from this one, and then 59, then uh, 58, and then so on. So what it means, uh, after each clock pulse, like let us assume I, I have to make a, a 30 second interval, and uh, a uh, time period is such a way like yeah so basically ultimately what i have to do i have to reduce this counter as well the value of counter as well as uh, the display which i am just showing you so you have to match all these things later on i will tell you what are the different applications yeah i just told you one one uh, basic idea how we can make the traffic light controller uh, or how this counter works actually okay so uh, what should be the time at which this value should reflect that depend also depends on the clock frequency okay so when the counter should decrease or something like that so uh, this digital electronics is really very interesting subject because see you can design all the things whatever you want based with the help of uh, simple logic gears okay so this is doable so uh, the time interval this basically de uh, that depends on the clock period and, and and accordingly we can decide what is the modulus that is required based on this time period okay so this is the importance if you have any doubt you can ask the questions otherwise we can move ahead sir why could we choose mod 102 i just given the example see suppose uh, let us assume uh, just let us try to calculate uh, suppose i have a clock frequency uh, this is the let us assume it is a 1 kilohertz Okay, so the time period that is coming around one millisecond. Okay, and if you want to make it, let us assume five seconds. For five seconds, how many uh, uh, pulses you need? Can you calculate simply five seconds divided by one millisecond? Okay, and this will give you the uh, the number of clock pulses that you need. Okay, clock pulse. So, uh, for, like simply five thousand okay this is coming around 5000 so 5000 so we need like if i have to make a 5 second uh, counter 
with the help of one millisecond uh, clock pulse time period. So I need to design a counter having the mod uh, four nine. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, mod five thousand. Okay, that will count from zero to five thousand. Uh, from zero to four nine nine nine. Okay, and once four nine 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 reach, it will reset some of the other other elements. You got the point? Yes, sir. Okay, so this mod basically decide how much time you need. So see, this five second is we are deciding like yellow color should be activated for five second. Okay, and the clock period is let us assume it is a one millisecond. So you need five thousand clock pulse to reach up to that value, up to that time period. Okay, so this is how we can decide the. uh modulus okay so let us start one by one okay so i hope the fundamental are clear about the counters so we can now now we can quickly move ahead with the counter designing side 